what jump? The left one. Oops, Oops. too late. <laughs> Oops. All right, we're good. Yep. Well, hello. Welcome back to Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. We're back. And Shane's on the yeah. Shane's on the sticks this time. He actually kind of jumped through the door a little ahead of time before us starting the video. So we went right. If you're continuing on from the oh, first episode, and with their frogs. And something, and you can tell me if you if you uh, heard of this or not. But like, I saw something on Reddit that like it's Frog Wednesday. Oh, the Wednesday Frog. Wednesday Frog. Yeah. Like, what is that, dude? I, you don't you don't subscribe to me IRL? Yeah, I do, but like, I I don't just, understand the frog thing. Like, I mean, just Wednesday. So so me oh, IRL is like me to like me in real life right I mean so yeah. it's like very it's very like meta very like down to earth memes that like are supposed to be super relatable like but, almost and, like a very self deprecate take it was know? it was like it's almost it's different in a way on I'm, I'm sure everyone's heard of me art but it's like different in a way where it's like it it almost it, oh I just switched back to I wanted the triple dags okay but no. it's uh it's almost like a <sighs> It's changed over time. It's almost like it was supposed go. to be like, oh, me in real life or whatever. But it's one thing before you start oh. doing this. What um, you just like Castlevania and a lot of NES type games, you have a dedicated jump. So if you like move while you're jumping, it's you're like your trajectory is determined. Like you can't like alter your. Yep, I can't. You know, so if you jump straight up, you're gonna jump straight up. So like, I just wanted to warn you yep. while I see all this platforming I, coming no up. There's no di. Yeah, I don't know what DI is, but yes, directional influence. Okay, like yes. super, like Super Smash Bros. When you hold the other direction, so you don't go off stage. Right, exactly. Mega Man on NES was like one of the first that I think did that. That get <laughs> allowed you to kind of fall in the direction you wanted. Nice. Oh, I, I forgot the button. And I remembered it last second. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that was close. Yes, it doesn't have DI. It is, th and you, they could have done it, but they didn't because they're like, no, that's not how Castlevania works. You have to plan your jumps or else you're bad. Yeah. Well, and then another game that's very infamous for the dedicated jump is the like the ghosts and goblins and the, yep. you know, those old, older adventure yeah. type games. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is the successor, I believe. I'm rocking this right now. Yeah, I mean, but like, it's so like simple and fun and you should have yeah, oh. I was gonna say you should have done that yeah, guy on him Whatcha? Whatcha? <laughs> reminded me of Samurai Jack Whatcha? Samurai Jack Samurai Jack Samurai Jack I am I need to Whatcha? finish um I need to finish uh oh, I can't remember the name right oh uh, can I no. no I don't think you would have made that jump um the dude that did Samurai Jack and uh um oh I don't even think you meant to do that. <laughs> nope. I just <laughs> nailed it. Uh, uh, oh my God. They did a, he did a, he does Dexter's lab and Samurai yeah, the Jack. same animator producer type guy. Yeah. You can use uh, your secondary weapon on those lamps up there. I guess there might be some items up there. Do you still have, the, oh, you have that yeah. thing now. I don't know if you can reach maybe. No. Okay. Uh, but he did a, he did another, a silent, show that's like a cave that's caveman. the caveman one you've brought yep. it up before but oh, if man. this is your first zero sigma uh series you're watching then this will be the first time you're hearing about it so i don't Whoa. mind i don't mind talking about it again it, which it, you need to send me a link or like the name oh, of it I how i can find it because i want to i want to shed some man tears Oops. too i can't crawl back up those okay no that you have sense. to hit up there you oh, go oh yep sorry up. another castlevania trope thing you just have to know Oh. oh no, I wanted to bring the hammer down. <laughs> I just think maybe have to time it a little. Oh, she's dead now, so you Oh. Mm. Okay. Well, oh, I wonder perfect. if how to get her back. I don't know. What's your secondary? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can just stay up here and do that. There he goes. Done. But anyway, go up, go with your silent caveman oh, show. It's just it's just good. And I just Oh, you oh. could have gotten that if you were her. Uh, I just I love me some Samurai Jack and Dexter's Lab, and I it's some rad. Sh I'm still working through the uh, new Samurai Jack episodes. Like they've been out for a while now. I have not seen it yet. It's I've I think I made it through like three or four episodes, and it's the exact. I mean, like in a good way, it's the exact same. They like, didn't mess with the formula. No, just, I mean like 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 
to, I haven't seen it, but like this caveman show that you've been describing where it's like all silent. I mean, majority of Samurai Jack is silent. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like it's just style. him walking and just watching and you just hear the winds and the trees and the leaves moving. It's just very ambient Whoa. and yeah, I don't know. I Good like luck this with this guy. I can't remember how to fight him. Oh, oh I would duck under that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So he's got a pattern. So once you learn the pattern, and I learn how to jump on those things. Oh, nope. nope. So he comes down. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think once he's out, now you can get him. God, you need like an air. I know. I need, need my like uh, an the air. Whip, the whip yeah. person would have been perfect. Uh, I think you can take those bubbles out by swiping at them, though. Yeah. Yep. If oh I, boy. Oh boy. Where's it start? Super you? good at this. Oh, do you both come back now? Yeah, you're both back. All right, I'm saving her. All right, Let's... now you got the whip as your secondary. Yeah, you're you're saving Miriam. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. I think your sword might be able to stop one of them, but it's like, eh. It's designed where you can get over them, though, at least. Okay. This... I am already just hosed myself. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, no. there's your, there's your, uh, your little All right, floor. I'm going I'm to be more strategic this, this time. I'm going to use him when I need to on these guys and then switch. There you go. It's almost like the Pokemon trainer from Super Smash Brothers. You can just, can you take that one out too, or do you have to go back? Nah. It's tight. Uh, so, before this episode about comes to a close, I'm going to wreck this guy on this next one. Uh, you saw um, Midsummer. I did see last... Midsummer. Oh, how'd you like it? <laughs> you not like it? Okay. So, it's it feels weird. feels polarizing. It's weird. I, I, I mean, you can argue with me here, but I don't really think there was a plot to it. Like, it was just like. It's a breakup movie. It was, I guess you could call it a breakup movie. It was just super and dealing with trauma too, I guess. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't I, uh, Should we reveal a lot or should we just be super vague in our, or, you know, our thoughts? Mm -hmm. Like, cause like spoilers. If you haven't seen midsummer, yes. <laughs> skip to, I don't know, a few minutes ahead, but, um, it was free on Amazon prime. That's how I saw it. Nice jump. Nailed it. Um, but it was like listed as like act or suspense and horror or something. I was like, there was nothing horror about it. I mean, there were some disturbing scenes here and there, but Hor like at least in a if I want to get super uh technical on what horror is, horror is uh horror is things that have supernatural elements. Okay. And so, like, a thriller is, like, a break-in movie. Like, if the, the mm -hmm. robbers don't have any superpowers and they're just about to break into your house and torture you, that's a thriller. Well, I feel like there's becoming so many of those kinds of movies, like, break-in movies, that they're becoming its own genre. Oh, yeah. it's a, a For like sure, that, it's a break-in movie. What but, was that movie called with Idris Elba? I'm trying to remember, like, the war, like a, like a, the, the bad man or something. I can't I, remember. But he basically, like, let himself into this girl's house because his car broke down and... You know, he's like, can I use your phone and stuff? And, you know, in this day and age, don't ever fall for that. Everyone's got a cell phone now. And if they don't, they're definitely a serial killer. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, but anyway, it, so Midsommar, I mean, it... It definitely it, had supernatural it, elements, for sure. So we got dinner with some other friends of ours. I think you might have gotten him. He might come back. Oh, with, yeah. They always do, like, one big move at the end to kill themselves but we were talking with another couple that told me that it was free on amazon prime mm -hmm. and they said like it, it's weird it's disturbing at times and i was super tired when i watched it but i still watched the entire thing mm -hmm. it still kept my attention the whole time um but i mean ashley and i watched it together ashley's my wife and she was so mad at the end you got to hit the up on the d-pad to talk why, to why was she mad about it? She's like, I'm so mad. She's like, how, like, that's how it ends, kind of thing. Like, oh, I, I love the, I love <laughs> the ending, just because, like, she, 
the whole movie was about getting over trauma and literally everything like she just kind of everything she let go of it all and it literally burnt like she kind of like yeah she was appreciated for who she was at that whole thing without these people without people in her life that were like telling her what to do or to feel or minimizing her and all the people at that place accepted her and she was the she was the may queen and then and then she like cried it out and that was all she wanted was to feel like people to see her as who she was yeah and You're supposed to silence your phones uh, <laughs> spam <laughs> people to see her for who she was right. and none of those people did and then and she just and and that was it i don't know it was very breakup yeah, i mean like i didn't consider half the things you said really i mean there's a lot of symbolism at the end with the fire and stuff and yeah i mean it it makes you it it, it is more like for me it's just like what i couldn't get over is oh their swedish friend brought them all to sweden knowing that they were probably all going to die Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. It's like you guys, it's not, like they, they're all working on their thesis together. So it's like, they must've known each other for a while to be good enough friends for them to be like, Hey, we've been talking about this for like over like a year. Right. With like, Hey, let's go on this trip. Just, he just fully knew that like they were going to be disturbed by this. Some of them weren't going to accept it. And they're my, my tribe or my cult or whatever is going to kill these people. <laughs> because, I, you know. I, I, I guess I love the Euro horror too. Cause that yeah. is very, the, the like Turistas or like, it's just like, Oh yeah, we're going to Europe and we're going to party. As soon as we're in Europe, let's like take some mushrooms. Nothing bad's going to happen. Right. And, and then everything bad happens. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm right, kind of no more spoilers. Through. You guys should see Midsommar. Go see really Midsommar. Good. It, I mean, like, it's it's an experience. Like, for sure. If you're into seeing something completely, my biggest thing, Alfred became an ally. By the way, I like. But Alfred But if you're already. big, like, if you're like me and you get sick of the same cookie cutter, predictable, yes, movies, like we both were discussing, we have old gift cards from years because we or for for cinemas. Because we just don't go. Like, I mean, like nothing's been like something's either a remake or a sequel and i don't know it's just very few unique ideas out there on the mainstream there's a lot of unique indie stuff out there that's kind of hard to see and i wish that was that would be more available but (sighs) that's lots of thoughts that's why you got to dig for them that's you got to dig for them them. you got to earn it 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 wasn't on amazon prime like i literally paid for it bought the movie on amazon i I, i'm like it may be on prime soon enough but you know what i'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and this is different from any like i want to pay and put money towards the things i want to see like you know endgame doesn't need my dollar i don't care but midsummer me buying it means something to the person creating it and i'm putting my money where i want more things to happen right and speaking of where you guys should put your money where it matters is you need to click like and subscribe and hit the bell icon and <laughs> exactly what he said. So this is the next level. We're going to play this in the next episode. Um, I'm more of an alchemist guy. This thing is chasing me. You notice that I have the least number of health. Oh, the least amount of health. Like the ow. Oh, and I'm already dead as him. <laughs> so until next time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Zero Sigma. Bye-bye. See ya.